Here's the finished igloo. Lit up inside. And I'll go through a uh, step by step. Yeah, we on, did it. <laughs> on how we built this. Yeah, under the white bulb what made it. So here's my fourth batch of making ice bricks using these plastic shoe boxes. My first batch, I filled them nearly to the top and after a day at minus 20 Celsius, the center was still liquid, so I dumped them out that way, thinking they will just freeze outside. The problem is as the liquid core froze, it split a lot of the blocks and also, and the ones that didn't split have a lot of cracks in them. So in the next batch, I let them freeze completely. It took two full days at minus 20, 15, minus 15 to minus 20 Celsius. And I let them freeze completely in the box, in the uh, boxes here before I took them out. But they, uh, they expanded a lot and deformed the boxes quite a bit. These sides really bulged out and they were hard to remove from the boxes. I actually broke several of the boxes trying to get them out. So the third batch, I only filled them about this much. As you can see, it's just over half. And they froze quicker. Most of them held their shape fairly well. And they were easier to remove from the boxes. Just uh, once they're frozen, I just spread the sides a little bit and tipped them over and they came right out. Here's the first row of the igloo about five feet in diameter on the outside and looks like 14 bricks we just mixed up some snow and some water to make some slush and we're using that for mortar and we're packing her tight we got a pail full of light snow This is what we use for mortar. It's got to be fairly wet to so stick properly. So I'm starting on row four here. Some of the things I've learned is the wetter the slush is, the better it works. It sticks better and it freezes faster to hold your bricks in place. Also, I use this little this with a little hand saw here. It actually trims the bricks pretty good. Take off sharp edges or even cut them in half if you need to. Also, your fingers, your mitts will soak right through, right to your bone. So make sure you don't hang onto the bricks too long, especially if you're balancing them there. You won't be able to let go. What I do is I put a little bit of, put actually quite a bit of slush along here and some up here if you can. Then I set the brick in place and hold it there with my elbow while I pack in here outside and the inside with my trowel and then uh, it doesn't take very long and they freeze into place if you got the right stuff. Just a note on the slush being wet, if you've got too wet, like if you got water in the bottom of your pail like this, that's too wet, it won't work very good. But as wet as you can get it without having the water in the bottom of your pail is when it will work the best. As you start getting higher and you start curving it in towards the dome, you got to start trimming the bricks. Otherwise you got a big gap, so just trim a little bit here and a little bit there with a handsaw before we put it together. But it does take time, it slows down quite a bit. Getting pretty tight in here now as the top starts to come in. Here you can see I'm just I'm gonna trim this. So that it lines up better with the next brick. Another thing I learned, I've tried, I don't know if you can see very well. 
these gloves they're like a cotton glove with a neoprene dip the palm and the tips of the fingers are all dipped in a waterproof neoprene work way better than those leather ones I had the uh, fingers are still soaked it's about minus 8 minus 9 Celsius out here but my hands are not cold and it's not sticking to the bricks because the gloves are staying warm enough work really good I can even pick up the slush I'm using for mortar by hand and pack it in by hand and that works way better Just about done and so these gloves are still really awesome my fingers are a little cold now just because near the top you have to trim so much to get it to fit as you can see this one here so I can sit in this wedge hole here you can see some of these other ones, the shapes. Just when you get towards the top, it got a little more complicated. Awesome. It came awesome. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm and has a light bulb inside. My father never made it before, but I realize tomorrow we will. Yeah. You guys gonna play in there all winter? And um, it's pretty cool, and I hope you'll like it when it's, when um it's tomorrow. <laughs> okay.